1,000. What's up, Trainiacs? I don't know if you saw, but just finished doing 1,000 push-ups. So, Trainiacs, it has been a homebody few days because we got an air conditioner going in right now. It's a good thing because that inadvertent heat training as it's 32 degrees out there also makes it about 29 degrees in there. It's not pleasant. And you might have noticed on Instagram more new projects going on. A lot of people guessed that this might be an endless pool, this might be more space for triathlon terran, live streaming stuff. Not correct. No, no. This is literally, it's just a deck. That's all it is. It's a deck because, here I'll show you. When we built Triathlon Terran HQ, we destroyed all of our old fence, which comes around and it comes around and it came around there. I figure if we're gonna go through all of the effort of building Triathlon Terran HQ, redoing the fence all the way around here, and it's not like we're swimming in money, but while we're refinancing the house and everything to build this and pay for the fence and all that, might as well add a little bit of outdoor living space. One of my favorite things in the world is to sit out on a deck, kind of duskish late at night, and here, I'll show you the plans for what I like. So what I'm into, it's a nice big deck. What we're going to have is like those vintagey Christmas lights going across here and then where I'm sitting is going to be a big couch, a love seat, and then there we're going to have one of those propane little fire things and we'll have some beautiful outdoor living space. Okay, but that isn't what this video is about. This video is about updating you on the triathlon masterclass. So the way I worded that isn't quite right. It's not necessarily the triathlon masterclass, it is master classes. If you don't know what these are, basically go to masterclass.com and instantly you will be bombarded on Facebook by things like Gordon Ramsay teaches cooking, Ron Howard teaches directing, Steph Curry teaches basketball. And the premise behind Masterclass is that you take somebody who is absolutely world-class in some sort of discipline and they teach you how to do said discipline. And we got the Team Trainiac platform rolling, the development is still underway for that, but what was coming out was I was realizing, hey, I'm gonna be writing workouts that are like swim, blah, 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 bike, blah, 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 run, blah, blah, blah. But people are obviously going to be saying, well, how do I swim better? How do I bike better? I know that all of these workouts are going to make me better, but what do I work on with technique? What are the aspects of, of training that I should and shouldn't be focusing on? What do I get? What do I not get? What are some key workouts? And I was like, well, you know what? I can create these classes, but why stop there? And we're starting to meet really cool, exceptional people in the industry who are insanely talented and knowledgeable about certain aspects of triathlon. So I started thinking, you know what? Here, we're really good at getting stuff and information out to Trainiacs. You guys are really good at being good in triathlon. Why don't we marry the two? So the things that are popping into my head are like, and these aren't for sure, but this is what's kind of going on, is like things like Gwen Jorgensen teaches running, Lionel Sanders teaches biking, maybe Lauren Brandon or Lucy Charles teach swimming, things like that so that we are bridging literally some of the, the, like the best knowledge and performances in the world between you and them, which historically in triathlon, like there's been this bridge, like you get to see pros, you get to see super high-end pro triathlon coaches out there, but it's fairly inaccessible to the average person. So we're talking about things like that. And I think we've got the first one lined up. This is all kind of in development, but what we've got lined up that we're talking to Aaron Carson about, who is the owner of EC Fit Boulder, who coaches Tim O'Donnell, Marinda Carfrey. She coached Angela Nace. She coached Paula Findlay. She currently coaches Justin Metzler and Jeannie Seymour. She coaches a huge amount of pro triathletes in Boulder in specifically strength and being 
functional. And why I really liked Erin is because when I started consuming more of her stuff in podcasts she was appearing on, people could question her and say, all right, somebody has 15 minutes twice a week. That's all you get as a strength coach. And she was like, boom, here's how you do it. Not like, well, really, you need to be spending like four hours a week. No, she says, we actually don't want to overload with time because triathletes are busy as they are. Let's not make that worse. Now, as far as costs, as far as timelines, as far as availability, as far as like a URL, all of that, we haven't yet figured out. Really what I wanna do right now is before we go down a path that is too far gone where we're like, holy crap, both Aaron and I have spent so much time on this and Trainiacs don't even give a shirt about it. We're doing a little bit of engagement with you and I want your feedback. So if you like the idea, but you don't have anything to say, like the video. If you like the idea and you have questions, you have input, you have things that you want to ask, you have wonderings about strength training, ask it in the comments below. And I actually think that this is one of the better ideas that I've had and I have a lot of good ideas like getting a shirt sponsor so that all of you don't have to see my nipples throughout entire videos. Like, see, it worked out. It's 28 degrees in here and I'm wearing a shirt for you guys. So there you go, Trainiacs, very update-y update video. Take part, like, comment, let me know what you think. That is all, later.